Hey guys, in this video, we'll be going through the types of roots in a quadratic function. We're also going to look at the position of the graphs relative to the type of roots. Let's get started. The types of roots for a quadratic function will depend on the value of the discriminant. The discriminant is simply b square minus 4ac. And where do we get b, a, and c from? This is from the general form of the quadratic equation. That is ax square plus bx plus c. f of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. And when we substitute these values here, then this is called the discriminant, capital D. When the value of the discriminant is greater than zero, if it is a positive value, that means that the quadratic function has two real and distinct roots. Real here meaning not imaginary. It is not an imaginary number, it's a real number. And distinct means it can be differentiated. There are two roots that are basically different. And how does this look? When we draw the graph, the position of the graph, since there are two roots, and we must understand that roots are actually the x-intercepts. And therefore, if there are two real and distinct roots, there are two real and distinct x-intercepts. And so now we have to determine the shape. Since a is positive, the value of a will determine whether it is a smile or it is a frown. When A is positive, positive is a good thing, there is a smile. And when A is negative, negative is a bad thing, therefore we have a frown. And so since we have a smile here and we have two real and distinct roots, the graph will look like this. This will be the position of the graph, where we have two real and distinct roots. And when we have a frown, when A is negative, this is how the graph will look like. We have two real and distinct roots, x-intercepts. So this is for the value of the discriminant that is positive. Now let me clear this off. This is when the discriminant is positive. What if the discriminant is zero? In this case, when the discriminant is zero, we have two real and equal roots. We still have two roots, but now they are equal in value. How would that look like in the graph? If they are equal in value, Basically, we only have one intercept. This is the root. So we say there are two roots, but they are equal in value. And so we only touch the x-axis at one point. When it is a frown, it is the same story. It is like this. What if the value of discriminant is negative? So you do b square minus 4ac and you get a negative value. In a negative value, that would indicate that there are no real roots. Now, once again, real refers to a group of numbers, real numbers. At your stage, if you're learning at high school level, you probably haven't learned imaginary numbers yet. And so we don't have any real roots. That means that the graph doesn't touch the x-axis at all because there are no roots. And for this, it would be the same. It does not touch the x-axis. So this is the position of the graph depending on the type of roots. Let's try some questions. Find the range of values of p such that the graphs below touch the x-axis at two points. From the statement here, we know that since it touches the x-axis at two points, this would mean that the value of the discriminant is positive. b square minus 4ac is more than zero. And that is what we start with. So before we do b square minus 4ac, let's identify a, b, and c. a is the coefficient of x square, and so a is equal to 1. b is the coefficient of x, and so b is equal to positive 2p. And c will be what's left. So c is equal to p plus 2. Now we can use the information that we know, that is the discriminant, b square minus 4ac, is positive greater than zero since the graph touches the x-axis at two points and so now we just need to substitute the values so we get 2p square minus 4 1 c p plus 2 is greater than zero all we have to do now is solve so we have 4p square minus 4p and minus 8 this is more than zero 
So we have a quadratic inequality here. In order to solve the quadratic inequality, we have to find the roots. So this will be more than 0. You have 2p and you have 2p. Minus 4 plus 2. Now we can identify the roots. The roots will be, for the roots, we can say that 2p minus 4 equals 0. p equals to 4 over 2, which is 2. And 2p plus 2 equals 0. Negative 2 divided by 2, which is negative 1. Now we have both our roots, 2 and negative 1. Now remember, this is not the solution for p. This is only the roots because we cannot use this equals to 0 when we have an inequality. When you have an inequality, this does not apply. So therefore, once we found the roots, now we can find the range. So we draw, we sketch the graph, we draw the x-axis. And we have to look at the shape of the graph. A is positive. Therefore, we have a smile. And so we have a smile. So this is the shape of the graph. The roots are negative 1 and 2. So let's label that negative 1 and 2. And we are looking for the range of f of x such that it is greater than 0. So the region where f of x is greater than 0 is here. This is where f of x is greater than 0. And so... The values of x that satisfy this is here. This is the region that satisfies this inequality. And the answer will be, therefore, either p is less than negative 1 or p is greater than 2. Let's try one more. Find the range of values of r such that the graphs below do not touch the x-axis. From here, we already know that if the graph doesn't touch the x-axis, this means the value of the discriminant is negative. It's less than 0. And therefore, that is what we use. Let's identify a, b, and c first. This is not in the general form yet because you can see we have x square and x square here. So now let's rearrange this. f of x will be equals to 3 plus r x square. Factorize x square. Minus r x plus and now we can identify our a, b, and c. a is equals to 3 plus r. b is equals to negative r. b will be the coefficient of x, negative r. And c is equals to 1. Now we can do b square minus 4ac is less than 0 because the graph doesn't touch the x-axis. And so this will be negative r square minus 4. a is 3 plus r and c is 1. This is less than 0. Once again, all we have to do is solve this. This is r square minus 12 minus 4r less than 0. Let's rearrange this to the general form. r square minus 4r minus 12 less than 0. And now we factorize it so that we can find our roots. And this will be r and r and this will be 6 and 2 negative 6 plus 2 all right so now we know our roots your roots will be r is equals to 6 because r minus 6 equals 0 and r is negative 2 now that we have our roots let's draw the graph and we have our x-axis Check the value of a. The value of a is positive. It's 1. a is more than 0. Therefore, we have smile. And so we have a smile where r is negative 2 and 6. Now, don't get confused here because we just read that the graph doesn't touch the x-axis. But that graph refers to this quadratic function here. This quadratic function, the graph doesn't touch the x-axis. We are not talking about this quadratic function here. This is a different function entirely. And this is how we solve it. So this is why you see here, it touches the x-axis at two different points. Because we are not talking about the original function. So from here, we want the value such that f of x is less than 0. That will be the negative region here. This is where f of x is less than 0. And so the values of x that would satisfy this will be between 6 and negative 2. Now remember that in this question, the unknown is not actually x, it is r. And so 
this is r this is f of r is more than this is less than zero and this is r it is the same thing it's just that the unknown is r so instead of x we use r that's it for this video guys i hope you've learned if you have please do help me by hitting the like button really does help the channel a lot thank you very much for doing that if you'd like to get your hands on the notes please check the description on how you can do that i'll see you guys in the next video